there. Today is Friday. It's Friday evening after work. Um, I'm wearing my new bunny shirt. You can see um, with a blue cardigan. And today, I I felt really great today um, because I went to a work holiday luncheon at a restaurant and I was there for over two hours. I can't believe I did it. I can't believe I made it. I was so upset about it. So I had to organize the luncheon because that's part of what my new job is. I do like payroll, personnel, administrative stuff, paperwork, e-things, reimbursements, and events. So it's kind of weird, like a strange mix of things. Anyways, so I planned the whole luncheon today um, at a local restaurant called Le Café Stella. It's French. Um, and it's in Santa Barbara. So, ooh, <laughs> hey, Stitch. I was leaning my arm on his cat tower, and then he jumped up. Anywho, um, so I was doing all the planning for it, and I wasn't really planning on going myself. I, you know, I know I get anxious and uncomfortable, and I thought, you know, I'll just I'll tell my boss I'm too anxious, I'm too nervous, and it would be awful for me, and I wouldn't be comfortable. And um, anyways, today I did speak with her a bit, and I also took some Xanax, and I decided to go for it and to give it a try and to try to go out to lunch and hopefully last the whole time. I wasn't sure. Like, maybe i just go for half an hour and then tell other people, like, hey, um, I got a call from my apartment manager. I need to leave right now or I, need, I, I had something come up. So I had all these, like, reasons in my head. But I lasted. I stayed. Oh, my God, it was the longest lunch ever because I was like, hurry up, finish eating, people. You know, that's what I was thinking in my head. Um, there was a group of us, 19, including myself, so it was a big, big long table, and when you have a big group, you know, it just, it takes a while, and when people order, and all of it, um, we got our food at a decent pace, though, we had the appetizer, entree, dessert, and I selected the menu, you know, because I had to schedule the event and all, um, so I'll tell you what the options were for appetizers, you could get, um, a Caesar salad, the soup of the day, which they had artichoke and then like roasted vegetables. And then there was another item. I'm trying to read it because I took a picture of the menu. The other item is the garden salad. I skipped the appetizers because I felt like it's too much food to have appetizer, entree, dessert. I wanted to have a three course menu um, so that employees could have the full range, but I didn't want to personally eat a whole bunch. And then for entrees, I chose the chicken dish, which I'm going to butcher this. It's called Coke Oven. <laughs> when I ordered with the waitress, I just said, um, I like the chicken dish because <laughs> I don't know how to say that. We also had beef bourguignon, which a lot of people liked. We had the lasagna. Was it meat or vegetable? Oh, it was vegetable and lasagna bolognese, and it looked really good. And then there was meatloaf, which didn't look good to me, so I'm glad I didn't get it. And then for desserts, I got the cheesecake, which was very light. And I prefer, like, a rich cheesecake, like the one from Whole Foods, or not Whole Foods, um, that barbecue place, Wood Ranch. I like a rich, thick cheesecake. So I was like, what, what is this cheesecake? Um, afterwards, people told me, oh, it's probably like the French way, which is lighter. Boo! The other desserts, there was a lemon tart, right? The apple pie with caramel sauce, which my coworkers didn't really like too much. They said it wasn't very sweet. And then the chocolate cake. Oh, God, it looked really good, but I didn't want something that rich. It's a triple layer dark chocolate cake with chocolate ganache. <gasps> Anyways, the food was good. I was pretty nervous-ish throughout the meal, and I kept looking at people eating, and I was like, God, hurry up. <laughs> you know, because I'm like, let's get through it. Let's be done with it. Let me, let's, let's just finish this up. So, um, in my mind, I was not very relaxed. But I did chat with the people around me and socialized and stuff. That was cool. And I just feel really proud of myself for doing something like that because it's, huge, huge um, challenge for me to go at a restaurant and sit there for so long with this group and to feel like I can't escape and I can't leave. Um, I was working on some stuff beforehand, some stuff that I learned when I was in cognitive behavioral therapy, which I don't know how much it helped, but anyways, I did it. 
Hallelujah. Let me share some stuff with you. Well, first, this is really cute. This is a Christmas card I just got from my sister. Oh, look at little Miss Mackenzie at the beach. That's not in Oregon. So cute. And then the three of them. And I got some stuff at work today. My boss made some treats for everyone. I don't know what it is. I think it's a type of bark. But it, it has peppermint. Ooh, it's, that smells good. Anyways, um, this is from my boss. And then the director of the place I work at um, was really nice. And he got um, a lot of us Amazon gift cards. I already used mine. It was a $50 gift card. And I used it to um, order... Don't listen, Stitch. Cover your ears. I ordered Stitch a heated cat pet bed with like a hood on it. It'll be really nice. <laughs> Stitch was right nearby me. Don't listen. I can't spoil his Christmas present. Hey guys. Good morning and happy Saturday. Yay. I slept in today and I feel like such a slacker because I got up at 920, um, which is of course really late when I'm used to waking up right after 6. But it's the weekend. It's the one time you can sleep in and catch up on a bit of sleep. So I wanted to show you my shoes. Someone last time said, hey, I want to see the shoes that I had in a box when I um, had gotten back to my apartment. So these are some shoes that I had ordered. I think I'm going to return them. Actually, I'm pretty sure. That's why I'm packaging them back up, putting them back in the bags to send back to Amazon. Um, they're size 11, which incidentally feels a little bit too large for me. Um, yeah, I've got some extra space up there. And what I really didn't like is how tight this feels up against my toe. There's this gold, hard gold part that I really didn't like. But other than that, they're super cute. Um, nice emerald green with a gold heel and gold strap. Let me show you the other side. There we go. I don't think I'm going to exchange them for a 10 because I, I know I wouldn't like how that feels up against my foot. And I'm getting some stuff ready to go... When I, when I do go to Anthropology, I decided I'm going to return um, the jelly bean top. <laughs> Got the receipt in the bag there, just to keep it together. And then the big flowery bat, um, cardigan. Yeah, so those are the two items that I'm going to return for my most recent order. So I got more of those puffins because I already, well, I'm all, I almost finished up the box I got from Target. Last week, I have this every day, and apparently I seem to eat it really quickly, so puffins are going over here. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I bought this lemon curd, which I think I had, like, in college or something, and I really liked it. Um, I just don't really know what I'm going to put it on, but it's tasty, so I bought it. Um, and then I've got peanut butter, just because I'm out of peanut butter, and I was thinking I could actually make some peanut butter cookies for my coworkers, maybe, and then bring them in on Monday, because there's still going to be a fair amount of people in the office, administrative people, on uh, Monday. All the faculty will be gone, though. Um, this is not from Trader Joe's. There's a cat place next, or pet food store nearby, and my mom likes to ask me to buy food for her cat there. So... I bought this tiki cat, Ahi Tuna, for my mom's cat, the, you know, the black one who hisses at Stitch and is generally unfriendly. Um, yeah, so I bought that from my mom's cat. And then I got two of these, the Caesar salad with chicken breast. Um, I really like it. I actually find it to be pretty filling for lunch when I'm at work, oddly enough. Um, although I think they could add a little bit more chicken because I only eat it until I as long as I have enough chicken and stuff to go along and then or at the end I usually have a little bit of lettuce left over and I throw it away, if that makes sense. So two of those and I dug the ones from the back that have the expiration date of 1222, which is Monday. So gosh, there's stuff like I feel like it expires so soon. And I had to dig these out of the back too. So I felt a bit like a jerk. And then I got this fettuccine alfredo, which will be a quick, easy dinner. Um, I just need to add some kind of vegetables to it, like I'll add frozen peas or something. So it's not just the pasta. And eh, this is new for me, orangina. I've never had it, never tried it, but I was thinking it might be a good alternative to soda. Hey guys, um, I just ate my dinner and 
Hang on, let me pause Seinfeld. I had it on. Um, I'm about to start wrapping presents for my mom, and I wanted to share with you what, what I've got going on. This is my kind of informal gift wrap station. These are just um, different wrapping papers that I keep underneath my bed, and then my new stuff from Target, and then these are the presents to wrap. It's not that much, actually. Um, <clears throat> I wonder if I should turn my tree on, even though it's obnoxiously bright. I probably have a, a pink reflection now to me because my tree is so insane. There she lights up. That's a pretty crazy bright tree. Anyways, normally I would wrap more presents, you know, stuff for my sister, my brother-in-law, my niece, and my dad, but they're all up in Oregon. My dad just got there today. He's actually visiting them for Christmas, so. Um, I ordered pretty much most of their gifts from Amazon and have them shipped directly there, even though it doesn't feel the same. I feel like originally I wanted to have all the gifts sent to me, and then I would wrap them and then mail it to them, but then I realized that would cost a lot to mail it to them. Um, although that is what I would have preferred to do so that I could wrap them and give a personal touch and actually see the gifts instead of just have them magically go off to um, my sister. So kind of stinks. Um, so I've just got presents to wrap for my mom. That's about it. Um, and I have one gift for my friend who I'm going to meet up with during lunch um, before Christmas. So yeah. Um, anywho... I thought I'd show you stuff I got for my mom, if you're curious. Um, let's see. All right, this is her big gift, <laughs> her um, big present for me. This is something that I sent her a picture of when I was at Whole Foods once, and she said she really liked it. So it's just a canvas tote that says, on one side, give bees a chance. So cute. And then on the back, the future of food depends on them, Whole Foods. So I got it for my mom um, after she said she liked it in a picture. And then this is for her cat, Lily. You know, the cat that hates Stitch. It's this little mousy toy. And Lily likes it, and Stitch likes one too. So I got one for Stitch as well. And what else do we have in here? Oh, that's the Sephora receipt. This stuff I ordered when there was that um, sale. You know, that Sephora sale, like in November. This is the Kat Von D um, Studded Kiss Lipstick Set, which my camera will not focus in on, unfortunately. Anyways, it has nine little mini lipsticks. My mom mentioned being interested in this. Um, yeah, looks cute. Nice little set. Sephora has so many sets. She also mentioned liking or wanting this Bite High Pigment Lip Pencil Set. So it's like a little tin with four of these lip pencils. We've got pomegranate, rhubarb, sable, and winterberry. So she's got some lip items. Actually, they're almost all lip items. Um, this is something I usually get her for um, her birthday and Christmas. It's the Christian Dior Creme de Rose lip balm. And um, she really likes it. And I think she doesn't want to buy it herself because it's a little pricey. So <laughs> whatever. I just bought it for her like one or two years ago. And ever since then, I've just been buying her more because she ends up using it up, which is good because she likes it. And this Sephora item is actually for my friend. Um, it's a Flower Bomb Rollerball perfume. So um, my friend mentioned Flower Bomb and running out of it like a while ago. I don't know if she bought more, so I just got her a little Rollerball. So I'm going to put that aside because that's for her. And then we've got this Sephora gift card for my mom. And this is going to wrap up most of the beauty items. I think that... My mom's never tried these, but I like them and use them a lot. They're the Shishido Facial Cottons. They're really thick and good for removing your eye makeup. Um, and this, like, lasts a long time, at least for me, because I don't wear eye makeup every day. But I thought it'd be neat if my mom tries it and see if she likes it. So, got some beauty stuff. And then this is a book she mentioned wanting. Um, it's the new cookbook by Ina Garden called Make It Ahead, and I just ordered it on Amazon, so she's got a nice little cookbook, and this is a water bottle that I thought would be cool for her because she likes, you know, glass bottles, not, not plastic ones, and she likes the little sippy thing um, for going to the gym. So she has some other brand, but I thought the Camelback might be neat for her to try, and it has this um, plasticky purple stuff on it. 
so you can get a better grip and hopefully not drop it. And purple's her favorite color, so that's why I got it in purple. So she's got the out for the gym. And in here, I think I mostly shared these items. I've just got some little things for her stocking, you know, her little chocolates that she likes from Trader Joe's. The eye make or regular makeup removers, um, the wipes, you know, if she's in a rush. The EOS lip balm. What else did I get for mom? Um, this little Dr. Bronner's soap, which we always use for cleaning our makeup brushes. I wonder if she got me one too. I wouldn't be surprised. And little Hello Kitty band aids, which are cute. I think we normally get each other that. <laughs> um, oh, these. Hang on, one of these was mine. <laughs> this is a little notepad. One for me. I'm going to put you to the side. This needs to go with my wrapping supplies. And are these just dog toys in here? Eh, let me get it out. Yeah, these are toys for my mom's dogs, for Teddy and Mia. Um, what else is in here? What do I, oh, it's that floss thingy. <laughs> Boring. Well, there's some floss. I just kind of put all our gifts in the box because I wanted to keep it all together and kind of organized. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to watch some Seinfeld and then start wrapping some of my mom's presents. Um, yeah, and Stitch is going to join me. He's going to supervise. He's a very, very demanding supervisor, aren't you, Stitch? You demand treats and pets and scratches and a little bit of catnip sometimes. There he is inspecting all the toys before I start to wrap them. What a little supervisor.